Welcome back, everybody. You already know this your girl have a scene. Um, this is gonna be another blackout. Uh, this is for the next 48 hours, emergency read, whatever you want to call it. We tapping the fuck in. All right. Now, the main focus for this blackout, okay? It's about trying to manifest something from home. Somebody trying to create something from home. Trying to create a home. But it's about manifestation in the next 48 hours. And this is dealing with a home or you trying to create something in your home. Okay? It's like you put... You already invested in something and it's like, okay, now you finna start seeing the results if that shit is making sense. All right. So let's, let's, let's tap right into this reading. Now, remember this read is not finna resonate with everybody. So if this is your situation, you already know. If not, void it the fuck out. All right. Let's get right into it. Now, the situation I'm talking about. Somewhere, somebody stopped moving. They stopped dead in their tracks. They're not coming towards nobody. It's like somebody hit the pause button. This person is delaying something. This person is not taking no action, okay? They trying to stall something. They delaying something. This person who put the pause on something, they may be working a lot. Like, they love being at work. Like, they love getting this money. But I feel like you put a lot of time and effort just as much as they put into their fucking job, you putting into them. It's a lot of doubt around this whole situation. That's what's killing it is doubt. Like, somebody may not even want to give this a second chance. This is dealing with something with like, it wasn't a give and take. Somebody still feel left out in the cold. It was a lot of lies, deceptive energy. Like somebody still getting away with the bullshit, still getting away with the lies. Somebody already set up boundaries with this person. You may have felt took it for granted. Dealing with this person. You may felt used. Okay. Um, dealing with that give and take situation. Where it was like okay. I do for you. You do for me. But it felt like you was doing more for, for them. Than they was doing for you. That's because this person already got something built up. It's like. In order for them. To give to you. They would, ha- they would be pulling from their foundation. Okay, and that's hurtful. Like, this could be a third party situation. I feel like it's sad. You see what I'm saying? It's sad. And it's like dealing with this person, you would not want for nothing. I'm I'm telling you, you wouldn't want for nothing. But it's like it's a lot of doubt. I feel like this is dealing with potential. This is dealing with trying to get something off the ground. They doubting. If this is basically enough, like, do you even have enough to offer? It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Don't settle for this shit. You don't have to settle for this. Okay. Don't settle for doubt. Like a motherfucker got doubt about you. Fuck them. You see what I'm saying? Like. It's not going to work with doubt in the middle. Somebody is being dishonest. They lying. They not telling the truth. They not getting clear communication. 
clear answers because of doubt. It's doubt here. This is definitely some type of third party situation or dealing with that. Oh, we're going to have fun. We're going to go out here. We're going to go there. It's lies. Oh, we're going to solve this issue. Like, let's try to fix it. Lies. This person is not taking no action because they are waiting on something. This person is like delaying things because they want something to come together. I don't know what that could mean for different people. You see what I'm saying? But this is like they it's like they almost where they should be. Cause this could be something with money. With money. Like, cause this person is working a lot. It's a lot of money on the table is what I'm seeing. You may be willing to fight for this. Like, you want to claim this. Like, you may be in love with this person. Like, this person may give you butterflies or make you nervous or shit like that. Dealing with this person. But this person is like taking the back seat. They not really taking no action. Because it's like they waiting on something. You looking at this situation or how they looking at it or whatever, okay? Somebody could be looking at it like somebody is money hungry, like somebody is after somebody money, or somebody is looking at it like, you know what, I'm not going to commit to this. This ain't nothing that I would claim. You see what I'm saying? Like, or somebody looking at it like somebody is... Not taking care of their responsibilities. Like they got their priorities all fucked up. That's the way somebody else could be looking at it. Okay. That's why shit is getting delayed. Things is finna turn. The wheel is finna turn. Tables is finna turn. Okay. Just know that. Because it's like. Somebody could be fearing like somebody patience run out okay because it's i seem it seems like a person been waiting and waiting it's like nothing really happening like a person was like stalling a person is stalling and this is coming from like you speaking your truth though like you spoke your truth you said what needs to be said. You presented facts. You really didn't sugarcoat nothing. It was like straight to the point talking to this person. I feel like it was cutthroat, but you, you, it was like you knew how to communicate with this person. It was all about communication, and I feel like you did that. That's where this is all coming from. Like You know how to communicate. This is all leading to things going your way. Like, a motherfucker on your team. That's what this is leading to. Because it was like, it wasn't successful. It was a lot of arguing. It was a lot of petty shit. It was a lot of drama. Um, a lot of competition. You may put this person on a pedestal and it was like they didn't even deserve to be on that pedestal. This, some type of relationship is coming together. This could be with this person, but this is like, it's like love at first sight energy. Y'all coming together. I feel like the justice is y'all coming together. Two people on the same page is what this is. Like, that will be your justice. Like, finally, a motherfucker can see out of eye. Like, you see where I'm coming from. Put yourself in my shoes. It's like that shit. And dealing with this person, 
by you speaking your truth in the past, saying what needs to be, be said, this person is going to show up just like that. This person will be able to communicate, speak their truth, get right to the point, present receipts. Like, I feel like you and this person is going to be on the same level, especially with communication. Because communication is the key, I feel like, in a situation. It may be trust issues. Because it's a lot of doubt. It could be third party situations. But I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to be able to sit down with this person and have a real talk. Communication. Exchanging words. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's really all I got y'all for the blackouts. So if that shit just made sense, thumbs the fuck up. If you like the tip heaven, it's all good. I truly appreciate it. Send from heaven225 at gmail.com at the PayPal. You already know. Peace out, y'all.